going to be question number seven, the additional practice, which is perfectly balanced. And so, yeah, so the idea here is that like we have a function called sum tree. Actually, uh, that's like a sub part of it. But the end goal is to have this function called balanced. And it's going to tell us whether each branch have this, has like the same number, like sum of all elements. So essentially, like uh, if we consider like these numbers to be like maybe like weights, for example, you know, we want to make sure that they're all the same sum so that this doesn't start like tilting over like that way or something like that. And so that's maybe uh, some intuition behind why you want it that way. But we want to check if all the branches are the same sum. So in this case, they're the same sum right here. Let's say this was a four. And then we also want to check if each branch is bound. So you might imagine that you know, although the entire thing is balanced, you know, if we had like a three, one, two, and maybe this was a six right here. So these branches are balanced with each other. But the thing is that like, you know, down here, you know, and this doesn't look really balanced. This is going to start tilting. And so we want to make sure everything is balanced. So that's an introdu introduction into the problem. And yeah, so we can start off by taking care of this sum tree problem. And so um, this is pretty similar to what we've done before. So I won't go over this too much. Uh, but here we're summing all the elements in the tree and we're going to return that value. So if we have like the list four, two, three, so this is the tree in the doc test and tree of six. What happens here is like four plus two plus three plus six, that's going to be 15. And so we're going to return that. And so the idea here is that like, um, oh yeah, so take some time if you haven't already to think through this, uh, but I'm going to go over it right now. So making a recursive call in each tree, uh, remember that I'm just going to tell you all the time, like think about the recursive call. If we call it on this branch right there, two plus three is five. You know, uh, this branch right here is just six. But like the thing about that is that uh, the total is going to be, so this recursive call on this branch right there is taking care of the two and the three, summing those up. This is gonna take care of everything for that branch. And what we can do is we can take the sum of the things for each branch, sum of the results for each branch. So the five and the six, add them together, we get 11. And we also add back our current label in, so 11 plus four, and we should get 15 out of it. And so the recursive calls are gonna handle like each branch's sums. And then all you need to do is add those all up and add in the current label that you have. And yeah, so now that we have that covered, let's get into the code. And then so there are two different ways you could do it. Um, as you can see, there's like a challenge version. And so I'm gonna go over the normal solution first. And so, um, we're going to keep track of a variable called like maybe the total and we can start off with like the label T because, um, we're going to be adding in like, um, uh, what's it called? We're going to be adding in the label. So might as well like include it right now. And we're going to go through each of the branches for B in branches of T. We're going to add in that to the total. So total is going to plus equal to, we're going to add the sum of the branches labels. And at the very end, we should have the total sum. So we're going to return that total. And yeah. So one thing to note is that we don't have a base case explicitly written here, but if it's a leaf, um, so, uh, when you're coding up these problems, always make sure that your base case is covered. So if it's a leaf, we have that is the label, the total is the label, but for the branches, there are no branches. So it's going to skip through that. And so we're just going to return the label and that's exactly what we want for our base case. Yeah, and so I guess the alternative solution is that uh, let's use a list comprehension. So we have sum tree b for b and branches of t. So we're getting the sum of each of the branches. And what can we do with it? Um, we're going to get the sum of all of that. But we also want um, the label to be included with it. And so we're going to add in the label. And this should sum out the label and the sums of each of the branches. And so, yeah, and last but not least, we're going to return that. And so um, I kind of forgot what it does for something. So let me just check. OK, um, so it doesn't really matter if you put the label inside here or outside there. Uh, either way, it works. So if I had like return label of t plus the sum of these branches, all is good because in the case of like a leaf, 
um, this list right here is going to be empty. The sum of the empty list is going to be zero. And then zero plus label of t is label of t. So that's exactly what we want. And so, yeah, so that's going to be some tree. And now let's take care of balanced. And so the thing about balanced is that there are two checks that we want to do. Uh, I'll like draw right here. There are two checks. So one, we want to check if the sums of each of the branches are all equal to each other. So one, check if sums of branches are equal. And two, check if each branch is equal, uh, balanced. And when we see um, this phrase, like check if each branch is balanced, well, you know, think about what we can use to determine if it's balanced. And also what we can use to check if each of the sums of the branches are equal. And so, yeah, so take a couple minutes, try to think about it, and I'm going to start go over, going over it now. And so, yeah, so uh, the idea behind this is that in like our current call for like balance of tree, a uh, certain tree, we're going to check if each of the branches are going to be balanced. So we have like maybe this label right there. We have like each of these branches, etc. In our current recursive call, we're going to, or like our main call, we're going to make sure that each of the branches are balanced with each other. So we're going to check this sum, we're going to check that sum, make sure they're all equal to each other. And then, so that's going to be handled in our main call. And then, so we took care of step one right here. And note that you can get the sum of these branches via sum tree, and then you can compare them to each other. Uh, but if after we've done that check, uh, we have two conditions, like if they were equal or if they weren't equal. If we knew that they weren't equal, then we know that the tree is definitely not balanced. And right there, we can return false. But otherwise, if it is true, then we need to check if each branch is balanced. And so how do we check if each branch is balanced? Well, we have this nice recursive call called balanced. And the idea behind balanced, checking if each branch is balanced, well, if one branch isn't balanced, then um, the whole tree isn't balanced. So once we see an unbalanced tree, we can exit out of our code, and then um, you know uh, we would return false because it's not balanced. However, if we found that one branch was true, we still want to check that the other branches are balanced because if this branch was balanced but the other one isn't, then the entire tree is not balanced. And so we want to go through all of the branches, check if they're balanced. If we ever see one that isn't, then we stop right there, return false. But at the very end, if we see that all the branches are balanced, then we're good to go and we can return true. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started with coding this up. And so what we can do here, so there's actually many different ways of like checking that the sums of the branches are equal. I'm just gonna go over one approach right there. Uh, but starting off, once again, just to be safe, let's throw in like a base case. So is if is leaf of t, if it's a leaf, then think about it. We don't have any branches, um, and since we don't have any branches, they're all balanced. So we're going to return true if it's a leaf. And then second, what's going to happen here is we're going to go through checking if each of the branches are equal in sum. And so I'm going to say, let's say we have like the first branch. So um, first branch sum equals, um, let's say branches of t index at zero. So that's going to give me the first branch. And I want to check if to get its sum. So as you can see up here, we have a function called sum tree. And I'm going to say sum tree of that branch. And the idea here is that like, it should be equal to every other branch. So if I made a diagram right here, um, B1, B2, B3. If B1 was equal to B2 and B1 was equal to B3 with like the sum, then you know, they're all equal to each other. I like transit the property, uh, but yeah. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of the branches for B and branches of T. 
Uh, and then if they're not equal to that first branch sum, then we're going to return false. So if uh, sum tree of that branch is not equal to the first branch sum, then we know that the tree is definitely not going to be balanced. So we're going to return false. And otherwise, we want to keep on going on and making those checks. And so after we made those checks, then what we can do is um, essentially uh, make a recursive call on each of the branches. So we just finished step one right here. So step one is taken care of. And step two, we want to check if each branch is balanced. So this follows the same idea as like um, maybe find berry or something that you saw in like the lab and like the same idea with this code right there. We want to check each branch, see if it's balanced. If it's not, then we're going to exit out because we know the entire tree isn't balanced. Otherwise, we want to keep on going and make sure the other branches are balanced. And so we're going to say for b in branches of t. And then what's going to happen here is we're going to say if balanced of t, um, a balanced of that branch, then we're going to return true. I mean false, if it's not balanced. If it's not balanced, then we're gonna return false, otherwise we wanna keep going. And so we're gonna keep on going, and then once we've gone through all the branches, we know that all of the branches, like calling balanced on all the branches return true. And so we went through this for loop, all the sums are good. We went through this loop, all of them are balanced. And because of that, uh, we know that the entire tree is balanced. So we're gonna return true right here. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be the code for balanced. And you might be imagining, how can we throw this into one line? Because as you can see here, uh, so we have a challenge that says solve both of these parts with just one line of code. So it definitely is possible. And so yeah, so what we're going to do here, um, I'm not going to explain it that much because it's pretty similar logic just thrown into one line. Uh, but we're going to return return is leaf of t or something. And so the idea behind this is that, actually, I'm not even sure if we need is leaf of t, um, this case right there, uh, but we can see if we do need it later. Um, but yeah, and so the idea here is that like, if it returns true, then it's gonna short circuit right there and it's gonna immediately return like true. Otherwise, we're gonna keep on going through this or statement. So that basically is like coded up in with this or statement due to short circuiting. And so what's going to happen here is that we're going to have a list comprehension. So what we want to do here is we want to check if the sum of the branches of tree, like that first sum. So this is like the variable first branch sum. I just like wrote it out here. We're going to check if it's equal to, we're going to iterate through all the branches. So for B in branches of T. And then we're also gonna check if they're equal to each other. So the sum tree of that branch. And then we also wanna check if they're balanced for that branch. So you could actually combine these two for loops if you really wanted to. Uh, so if the sum wasn't equal or it's not balanced, then we wanna return false. And so that's what we're gonna do right here. Um, uh, but in this case, what we actually want to do is that we want to say the sum is equal and they're balanced. And then so you might be wondering why did we decide to like negate everything and like use ands. And so the idea here is that like um, we have, we're like checking the sums and like we're going to say um, this is true if the branch is okay. Uh, so I, when I say the branch is okay, that means that it's balanced and the sum is like equal in weight. And then so at the very end, ideally if it's balanced, then all of my branches, all of my elements in this list should be true. So they should be, all the branches should be balanced and have the same sum. And so if they're all true, then calling the function all on this list is going to return true. So all is essentially saying, are all of the elements in this list truthy? And if it is the case, then it's balanced. 
But otherwise, if it isn't, then one of the values is going to be false, and an all call on that list would return false. And so yeah, that's going to be the solution to this problem. Um, let's see what the solution has to say right here. Um, let's see. Oh, so they didn't really give a one-line solution. How unfortunate. But, oh yeah, so, I mean, I guess it is true. So in this case, we actually, okay, they do it a different way. They kind of just throw the branches thing in there. So in this case, we actually don't need a um, base case for the last line right there. And so the reasoning behind this is that like, for bn branches of t, it's going to be an empty list. And I think all called an empty list should return true. So yeah, so as you can see, all of the elements in this list, since there aren't any, all of the elements here are true. So none of them are false. So all called on this empty list is going to return true. So it works out without that is leaf base case. But pretty cool how you can use short circuiting as a filler base case if you wanted to do things in one line. Uh, but yeah, and also, if you decide to throw this branches of t call, like sum for your branches of t next at zero into the for loop, then you also don't need this is leaf base case. And so the reasoning behind that is that like, we have to check if it's a leaf first before indexing into like the zeroth branch, like the first branch. But if we throw it into this for loop right there, then like, you know, uh, if it's a leaf, then it's going to skip through this for loop and we never actually index into the branch. So just like a bunch of things to like, I just wanted to point out, uh, it doesn't matter if you um, try to like, I mean, like try to understand it, but no worries if you didn't, uh, but make sure to let me know if you have any questions and hope you have a great night.